guys, what's happening? So I can't remember what part, part we're on at the Orca build here, but um, all right, so I want to show you the, uh, I know I talked about quad point bed leveling in uh, previous uh, videos, but uh, yeah, got it working. So I originally went for, it was two point bed leveling, you know, with, uh, I was using Z tilt to adjust it. So now I'm using a uh, quad gantry level and clipper. But let me show you my little ball socket joint setup I have here. So I obviously have four drive motors. And that is the ball, the ball and socket. So here's a closer look. So this little piece that slides onto a little, little piece of cut 2020 rail. So before in the two, two point, I had a piece of 2020 rail that went all the way across. And it was just driven by two motors, two Z motors. I could do the tilt this way. Um, so this is actually, I do a couple different versions to make this work. Um, this is the most accurate, by far the best one I've done so far. Where the ball just slides in through here. Um, because it's not just the ball on the top. You have to keep the ball, when it, when it wants to adjust, you have to keep the ball from moving on the top as well. So it needs to be enclosed in some sort of like ball socket. But at the same time, it needs to be able to articulate. Um, so I personally feel like this is going to be all more accurate than three-point bed leveling. And it could be wrong. Um, just because you're actually you know, adjusting in four different corners. So my thought was, maybe if you have a warp bed, maybe, the, the, the corners on the three-point on the sides might not be, uh, you know, it could throw it off a little bit. Um, so when I do point, my tolerance is a 0.1 millimeter. I can get it in probably like one to two shots, one two go rounds, and, and I'm pretty much dialed in. Um, but if I want to go to 0 0.05 tolerance, which is crazy minute, um, it takes something you know, anywhere from like three to five passes usually to get in that sort of range. But I'll go through the clipper configuration so you can see it and um, see how I have it configured because it's different than I think quad point gantry leveling was designed for the Veron printer, 2.4 printer. Um, so with like a Verone 2.4, uh, the gantry is over here, outside here, right? So you're making your calculations based on the outside of where the gantry is connected. So that's when it's making a calculation, it knows how far off, you know, when the motor turns, it knows where you're at, where the corner's at. Um, so, but for me, I'm pulling right from the actual bed screw right here. So it's just a basically an M4 screw that comes down and goes into like little balls. It's like little M4 15 millimeter balls I bought on Amazon. Um, yeah, I've already done test prints and stuff, but I'll, I'll fire it up real fast. Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't seen the skirt yet, I started work on the skirt. I have the ball socket, bed levelers. Um, yeah, because I, the next phase is to finish the electronics box and put my uh, 5160, uh, you know, external... Uh, drivers in there with the large capacitors. I made a video about it. Yeah, then hook up this AC line. So, all right, let me fire it up. Well, actually, let me give me, I'll show you the articulation. All right, so let me show you the articulation. So it's not like a, th uh, with a three point bed level, you can get pretty extreme. Whereas a four point, you can't get that crazy because of the way it wants to move. I mean, you can probably go like a, uh, I don't know. 30 millimeter, but you do, it's definitely not a three point. You can get extreme just because of the way it's mounted. The corners can't move on a four point. They can, but they can't to the extreme, you know? So, that's the articulation. Uh, but for me, because if I, well, since I'm using belts and not screws, um, so if this thing ever gets alignment, like when I turn the thing off, to get it back to set zero, all I have to do is just push it down to the bottom. Right? That's it. And pretty much back in zero again. And it, you know, I don't have to do like a lot of, like the bed will never be like that. All I have to do is go like that. So printer's off, level the bed, and then from there, turn it on. And I'll show you the uh, calibration here. Right, so I gotta get this printer finished, electronics done, so I can finish my other printer. This is my new one, the Celeritas which is going to be the like, ultra insanely fast high-speed printer. Um, I haven't formally introduced it yet, so that'll be coming up in a coming video. Um, all right, so clipper is on. So I'm going to go move. 
uh, move and then hum all. You know, basic G28 command. It goes zero is X, Y. And then um, it's going to bring up the four Z motors. All right, bed comes up. But yeah, I can tell you, once I go back into clipper configuration, um, when I get back on my computer, I'll show you. I've never actually had a bed mesh this flat before, ever. So, like, it's insanely flat, and I'll show you. All right, so here is quad gantry level on there, and I'm going to get a thing in the frame here. So what I was saying earlier is that in point, my do point one millimeter tolerance, like I said, I can get it in just one shot, like two two go rounds, and I'm done. Uh, with the with the point zero five, which I set up now, um, I mean uh, anywhere from four to five passes. So what it's doing is it's measuring each point and then basically it's going to see the difference of words. I mean, I know that it seems like this back is a little bit, a little higher, I think, in the back. That's what it seems like so far, that every one I've done so far, it seems like it needs to adjust the back a little bit. Which I, I don't can't figure out why, because all these things are exactly the same, same uh, distance. Alright, maybe I'll speed this up. All right, there it is. All right, so I don't know if that was like four or five passes, but yeah, definitely. Like I said, that it's the higher the higher the tolerance, the more passes it has to do. So, I mean, I I think point one is probably fine, you know. Um, but all right, so let me. Uh, I mean, obviously it works. So that's the point. I'm not gonna do a test spread. Um, but yeah, there it is. Quad gantry leveling, four motors. So, yeah, I wanted to get that done first, and I'm, I'm actually already designing the electronics box because I want to put those external pro drivers in there. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe I got this to actually work, to tell the truth, um, because I had multiple failed attempts. Um, all right, let me go into Clipper Config, and I'll uh, show you how I configured it. All right, so here is my Clipper main sail under printer... Okay, I think I have some commented out like Verone setups here. Um, where's the original Verone? Um, where is it? Well, here's my setup right here. So, um, quad gantry level. So I think this originally was designed for the Verone 2.4 printer. Um, so it, this, so it, for some, well, the way it's set up in, in Clipper is that each of these corners, this is this is the far left corner. This is the front left corner, right there. So um, you know your your X Y zero. So these this is actually where those screws come in on the bed, like the bed points where that where it connects those M four screws that go down to the ball sockets. And this is the back right corner, two ten by two fifty. So it needs these numbers so it knows like when it does the calculations on how far to move the motor. It needs to know how far away from the center of the bed it is. Um, and here are the pointer here. This is actually where it actually probes on the actual bed. Um, yeah, I have it pretty much right near the right near the actual screws. Uh, and then I have a horizontal move. That's five. That far goes down. Seven retries, and that's the tolerance. What I was saying. Zero five. I get that four to five shots. Um, if I were to do point one like this. Then it would probably be, it's usually just two shots. Um, but yeah, you can see there, I'm looking for the Verone config. I have a, a convert out somewhere in here. Originally, I copy and paste it. Uh, 
where is the cold gadget here it is so see the negative eight and seven that's because the motor where it's being controlled by is off off the gantry, like off the left corner, you know, it's way off. It's not on the actual bed itself. It's off the left-hand corner. That's why it's negative 58, negative 7. Um, but, yeah, I can't believe this works. It's a trip. All right. Um, all right, let me show you the uh, bed mesh. All right, so I still actually haven't even uploaded this printer yet to GitHub, just because I'm still working out the kinks. So, um, height map. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a height map that was all blue. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, look at that. I mean, slightly. I mean, that's actually... This is this heat map, or this height map, was um, with the glass bed on it. So I actually have a glass bed. So I don't know if the glass bed is off or the... Well, also, it has to be the glass bed, because that's where it picked it up. So I actually haven't done this straight on the aluminum bed. Plus, this is actually like a... You've seen how thin the aluminum bed is. It's not like a like a Verone 2.4, that thick bed they use, which I think is like 6 millimeter. This is just a standard 3D printer bed, 24-volt 3D printer bed that originally came off the Solvo printer. Um, but I liked it. Like I said, I like the, the angle of it because I get the... I have a shorter X-axis, so I have less weight, so I can go faster. But then I have the longer travel you know, of, uh, in, in the Y direction so I can print bigger parts. Um, all right, guys. Cool. Um, can't believe I got it to work. Awesome.